Hello my friends and welcome, my name is Dennis and as you probably know I'm the airline pilot. Today let's discuss the conflict between the Qatar Airways and Airbus. Bum, bum. Just a couple of months ago I heard that Qatar Airways had the problem with paint on their brand new Airbus A350s. That should be the state-of-art airplane. However, they failed to negotiate this issue with Airbus and now Qatar Airways is seeking for compensation of $600 million from Airbus. As a response, Airbus terminated the Qatar Airways order for 50 brand new A321s that they put well before. I don't know how this connected to A350 issue. In its turn, the Qatar Airways decided to put the issue with A350 paint job to the public by publishing very interesting video showing the defects of the paint job. So guys, here we go. We can clearly see the registration number and those airplanes with that issue, they already been grounded for a long time. So Qatar Airways had to carry uh, costs to support those airplanes being on the ground and that cost a lot of airplanes made to fly not to stay on the ground and you see that uh, here we have clearly see the damage to composite materials so here we have some kind of net uh, and I can see it's, it was exposed to atmosphere to the lights to the sun rays and we cl can clearly see that it was partially damaged over here the rivets are all open it shouldn't be like that my friends and yeah for the brand new airplane it is uh, not disastrous i think they can handle it but you <laughs> You just can't pull out the paint with your fingers. It's totally bad and it shouldn't be like that. You can see that all rivets, rivets are open. So the paint uh, is used not just to show the airline colors and livery. It is used to protect the airplane skin, rivets and other systems. Uh, protect from the rays, from the sun rays, from atmospheric conditions, from the rain, snow, etc. This is the top of the airplane, just look at this. Uh, it seems like it was, um, <laughs> the paint removal was put on top, but uh, it clearly wasn't. Oh my god, the top, you see, it's all, oh my god, it looks like a very old uh, abandoned airplane, but it's really new. Just look at this shouldn't be like this my friends so i would agree with the uh, qatar airways that they put the statement that they really have the big issue with uh, those airplanes probably uh, i heard that other airlines they also have uh, the issues with the paint but maybe it depends on the region because then you fly just look at this wow uh, because then you fly in the region where it's hot then it's high humidity uh, then you fly like very high it's, uh, the temperature could drop to minus 60 sometimes and then you land it's uh, plus 40 sometimes so yeah it can put uh, the stress for the skin for the paint but it should be uh, planned to handle those uh, those temperature differences well wow. see uh, here near to the rivets uh, they all oh, oh my god it's look like a very bad bad paint job uh, but it's uh, it's not really bad i think it's done in wrong in wrong way and the composite materials they play you know then you fly as a passenger you might if you've flown as a passenger you have seen that the wing is playing it's like a waving so the fuselage um, because it's uh, it became pressurized on uh, altitude on the flight levels and the fly on the high flight levels so it's also plays and uh, yeah to have those cracks it's uh, unacceptable my friends i think and yeah really it is in really bad condition i i'm happy that uh, Qatar always released this footage uh, so the public will see it and uh, they will judge for sure that it's not acceptable it's like a buying uh, you are the customer of some kind of brand the car brand and uh, finally you got the nice brand new car and after a while you'll see this kind of happening to the car and the car designer will tell you no no worries the car runs uh, don't think about the paint job it's 
still can run. So I think it's not right. It's not good approach from the Airbus, to be honest with you, my friends. Bum, bum. I have the news article here, so let me read it out. Qatar Airways mentioned that these defects are not superficial and one of the defects caused the aircraft lightning protection system to be exposed and damaged. Another defect leaves the underlying composite structure to be exposed to moisture and ultraviolet light. And another defects include cracking the composite and damaging around the high percentage of rivets on the aircraft fuselage. And now I just want to put my opinion here, my friends, as an airline pilot. Well, if you have the problems with composite materials that are exposed to ultraviolet, that if you have the problems with rivets, with the lighting protection system, it is unsafe to fly those airplanes with those defects. So Carter Airways did a very great job grounding the planes with those issues. And also this kind of rock pain may increase the drag, so the fuel consumption. But the Airbus A350 is prone to be one of the most fuel efficient airplanes out there. And for me it is quite a strange move from Airbus to cancel the order for completely different aircraft that is not involved in this issue. So, kind of strange indeed. You might think that I'm some sort of the Airbus hater. No, my friends, I like Airbus. Even though I'm the Boeing pilot, I would like to try to fly Airbus as well. And A350 is actually one of my favorite airplanes and probably the favorite airplane in commercial aviation. I even have it on my wallpaper for YouTube. So it's fantastic airplane, but I can admit that Airbus probably they do not have this technology to put the primer and to put the uh, paint on the composite materials for this to stay for a long time. The situation already went to the court, but I still hope that Airbus together with Qatar Airways find out the common solution to solve this problem. First of all, I think it's the problem of Airbus, so they should solve it because it's not only the problem uh, that happened to Qatar Airways airplanes. Finnair also reported that they had some problems, they have some problems with A350 painting. Not as severe as Qatar Airways, but still they have. By the way, my friends, I like pixel art, so I started my NFT collection on OpenSea. You may check it out, because the Qatar Airways A350 is the first airplane in my collection. So the link is just under this video, you may check it out. My friends, I hope you enjoyed this video, so what you need to do now is to follow the awesome guy checklist. First, like this video. After that, subscribe to my channel. Finally, ring the bell, whatever it means. Thank you very much for watching this video and have a great time. Bum, bum.